Well, as I just said, the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has just landed in Israel to meet with Benjamin Netanyahu and the Israeli Prime Minister met with US President Joe Biden yesterday. As for our own Prime Minister, he too is jetting off this week to the US. Opposition leader Peter Dutton insists Albanese must stop via Tel Aviv. I think it would also be uh, in our country's best interest, Prime Minister, to to go via Tel Aviv and provide support to the Israeli leadership. It is important for us to be able to stand with Israel at this time, as other world leaders have done. That should be the priority, frankly, of any international travel at the moment, so that we can seek to be part of an alliance to keep the pressure down on those who seek to have a wider conflict in the region. Well, let's bring in my panel for this evening, commentator Jason Morrison and former Speaker of the House Bronwyn Bishop. Bronwyn, um, you've been there and done that in Parliament. Uh, if this was a government you were in, would you be expecting the Prime Minister to be on a plane to Tel Aviv tomorrow? Yes. Simple as that? Yes, I would, because he's, he's, he'll take a plane to anywhere. <laughs> well, Airbus <laughs> Albo, they were calling him for a Absolutely. while. Absolutely, right? and he, he seriously will. And uh, he's going off to have a, a dinner party. Seriously. At a time like this, when we've got riots on the streets of Sydney, which is a spillover from what's happening there, this would show leadership that he means it when he said mm. he's backing um, Israel and its right to defend itself. But, oh, no, he'll just chuff off and go to dinner and be out of the country. Cancels Parliament, by the way, to do it. I mean, seriously, <laughs> what, sort of a, what sort of a leader is this man? He cannot even take responsibility for the failure of his own referendum when it was his hubris that mm. put it forward in the, in, the, in the way it was. I mean, it's a pretty good lark. I mean, Jason, I, I, I hate to say it, but Joe Biden has actually been stronger on all of this than, than our own Prime Minister. You even call if he's that got... John, Joe Biden's strength? Well, look, no, a his, comments, old fool. his <laughs> comments last week were strong. What he did yesterday I oh, thought was a bit ordinary. But at least he's shown up. Uh, can I say, I, I, I disagree with Bronwyn on this. I, I actually don't think the Australian Prime Minister needs to go, nor should go, to Tel Aviv. Um... One reason, principal reason, the risk, we don't, we don't need another international target wandering into the, the middle of a hot oh. spot. But let's, let's add on to it. I, I, his problems are here. His problem, our problems are here. If you want to, to, to look at the, the peace and harmony of Australia, stay here. Well, it, you know, that, that's where, where we need him at the moment. No, if he goes, he's showing he means it. He's already got his cabinet breaking up. Well, you know the answer. He doesn't he's, mean it. He's, he doesn't mean He's a buck each way on well, this. Well, he's, he's a buck each trot. way. We know that. We, <laughs> know, know, we, we know that anti-Semitism is ingrained into the left of politics, into, yeah. into the socialist mm. ethos. I think he's a phony we if know he goes. It. He's a phony uh, because he doesn't mean But he has come it. out and said that uh, Australia's, this is Australia's position and to prove it, he should go. If Sunak can go, then he can go. But what's gained out of going? What's gained out of sending Bye. the RAAF in, getting the bloke out there, having to have the SAS follow him around for an hour whilst he shakes hands, gets some photos? Because and... he's actually showing that this is what Australia its position I, is. I have a At feeling. At the moment, he's not even he's not even taking on. I have a feeling his own minister. that Israel knows what Australia's view on that, despite <laughs> yeah, what no, the, the need, prime minister but is we saying. We need Australians to know. Well. Because they don't know at the moment. You've got Ed Husick going off there making mm. his, his two But that's not going to stop. But he does, Adam, Adam, he does Adam, need to intervene on He that. does. Um, that, that, that's right. This is not it. going to stop. You're not going to stop that. You're not going to stop the fruitcakes and the left no, of the Labor Party. No, but it shows that the moment he's not seen to be in control. But it's bullshit. He, oh, he doesn't not, mean it. He control. doesn't mean it. He does. But he's he does. in a position where Australia does and he's got to be seen to be giving that letter. Well, yeah, I mean... I, I, you know, I mean, it, the man is it, a fool, funny, I know it's that. It's cosmetic. It's it, cosmetic. It, it, I've told you before, I sat in that chamber but that man for 20 years and nobody, <laughs> nobody ever said he was leadership material. Yeah. Well, and we're and, just seeing right and, now why. And now he's there and how lucky are we?